I'm kind of recovering from that midweek um, video game award. I don't know how many people sat through it with me. How many of you were with me when I did the uh, video game award stream here? We went live on that. I know there's probably only about 25, 30 people. I don't blame you because <laughs> everybody else is streaming it. And who wants to watch it with an old fart? Unless I, I Let's put it this way. I had to, if you were here, I had to, and I don't really drink that often. Like I had to get like a little, you know, tumbler of uh, some scotch on some ice and just kind of glide through it. I can't say I was disappointed because I didn't know what to be disappointed in. Apparently video game awards are very heavy on a lot of promotional uh, pit stops promote other games, new games coming up, um, uh, trailers, like, like it all, like I've learned cause after that I'm looking up on the internet or on YouTube for people reviewing it. And I was going, wow. All right. About 15 million people watched the show through and through. And a lot of people loved it. And I guess a lot of people, um, uh, know to expect that since I've never seen a video game award, that it is about the trailers, about the future of things. Also, well, of course, getting introduced to the voice of things. Like there was that one guy who did the voice, uh, that one guy who got up, but then it was almost getting cut off, but apparently there was some controversy in what he said, like he, he dissed one game and wh whatever. I think for me that was just a little different because I'm an old fart, you know, and raised in the 1900s, award shows are mostly people getting up and catching these awards with little bits and then like the music there would be all five or six nominations that would get played and then the announcement and the composer comes up and that didn't happen so that was like very unique to me i will say one thing i will say one thing and i'm watching the chat kind of blow up here a little bit about it um i definitely got a face full of how intense the industry develops and goes after its market share um, and I think I even mentioned while I was streaming, one of the things that I noticed, um, and what, and because I don't know what to expect, <coughs> or maybe because it's just me as an old person who's only played the dozen games or so, I didn't see any light and fluffiness. And what I mean by that is it was all about the giant, powerful, I guess I've learned the term, AAA gaming physics. You know, the animation, the intensity of how great look, things look. I didn't see any kind of real love to the kind of games that are like the Ori's or the Outer Wilds or the Stardew Valleys or Journey or, or anything of that nature. Abzu, you could tell which games I've played. So it seems to be like the video games also kind of want to keep the energy of it pumping. And so there's a lot of boom, you know, a lot of banging pieces, you know, and so... Well, I tell you what, they, they really, it's an intense industry. <laughs> but I will say one thing, the highlight for me, okay, first I did catch, somebody just uh, left a comment about what did I think about the live performance of the uh, Asgard, as, as, was it Asgard of Gods? I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of the band. I loved it. I loved the way it was performed. Um, you know, uh, it sounded great. It was uh, uh, Old Gods of Asgard. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it sounded fantastic. The choreography was great. The performance was great. That, though, is what I was expecting from. And then, of course, we did hear uh, from, I think it was the Final Fantasy Orchestra. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, of course, there was the mel there was the uh, medley, of course, that the orchestra played with the uh, guy with that really super unique flute instrument that, you know, uh, apparently he had been there before, too, because I'd seen some comments about that. But... Um, yeah, the Hilong song was phenomenal, was beautiful, was kind of transcendental. Is that is that how you say it? transcendental? Not like dental, transcendental. Trans, it was just great. And that was another great performance. But for me, there was a lot of stretch behind it and stuff like that. And I've, so, and I've also never seen awards given out, even at least for the composers. I thought like that first 30 minutes, there was that young lady who was the hostess. Uh, that was really fun. To me, that felt like, okay, they decided to, to because it's live, in the Oscars and in the academies, there's a lot of awards that'll happen that don't make the show because it's a lot more technical or something, and they only choose a certain amount of awards to catch, you know, the public's eye during a, um, a transmission. But 
even in the in the core of the video game awards, they would be announcing, and then nobody would come up. On to the next one. Blah, 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 blah. On to the next one. Winner, 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 winner. Winner. On to the next one. And then here's the promo for the latest, you know, how do you do? So it was a unique experience. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> So, and I can tell here by the, you know, what you guys are saying on the chat, that's, you know, something obviously I, I'm learning as I go through this, but um, it was, it was, it was, it was an experience and I did enjoy a few fingers of some really good scotch in the meantime and I slept like a baby that night. I think I needed that. I think I needed the whole thing. 